Today I'm trying out something. I've used it before. I used to have a lot of luck on one of these. Uh, this is a different color I haven't used before, but it's a Rebel Crick Hopper. It's mostly yellow. It's got a little orange on its back. I'm going to see what will go after it today. I'm not expecting anything big. I think it's going to be mostly small fish. But we'll, be, we'll see. I'm, I've been surprised before. I've brought in two pounders on these. Got one that time. <laughs> Little bitty one, but he blew up on that hard. That was pretty cool. I hope I got that blow up on camera. I don't think I did because the camera's kind of pointing upward since my strap broke. All right, there we go. One problem with those hooks that are so small, they, well, there goes the fish. Anyway, <laughs> those hooks that are real small, they, they're really easy to break. One of the side effects of using such a small crankbait or any, any bait this small in general is you're gonna catch a lot of small fish. I mean, they say big, big baits catch big fish. That's only because that's the only thing that can go after it. This catches more fish. I've caught big fish on this, but most of what you catch is tiny. All right, so it's getting a lot of attention, but so, I've only, so far I've only had one hook set. Anyway, let's give this a shot down this way. That's perfect right there. Oh, look, before I even started to move it, something struck at it. There we go. It's another sunfish. Bigger one this time, I think. Oh, it's a different species this time. The same colors, different species. This has got a smaller mouth and some more rounded, rounded head. Interesting fish. I don't think I've ever caught one of these out here before. There, oh, <laughs> that one came flying up out of the water. Look how tiny this one is. This might be this might be the smallest fish I've ever caught on on a line. So on this same bait, I had I had a different color one. I've caught a two pound bass, and now I've caught the smallest fish ever on it. I have other grasshopper crankbaits that are this size, but this is the only genuine one I have. Everything else is Chinese, and they don't quite swim right. They work, they just don't quite work the same way. Not quite, not as effective. Start moving. Oh, it's a big splash there. Probably another small fish though. Got it. Another sunfish. All right, so that's four sunfish so far. And I've probably been here about 10 minutes. Well, I've probably been at the park for about 10 minutes total. I've been in this spot for like three or four minutes. I'm definitely getting more attention on the surface than whenever I, I swim it like a regular crankbait and below the surface. So the top water is what's on right now. There's one. Another sunfish. Oh look, something took it already. As soon as that hit the water, something took it. Little bitty fish. Little bitty sunfish. <laughs> oh, I tried to miss the hook set again. So, got him that time. This might be a bass. What do we got? Nope. Slipped off. I think it was a sunfish. Small, or a big sunfish or a small bass, but I think it was a sunfish. There we go. That blew up on it. That was a hard one. 
think it might be foul hooked. Nope, there we go. That was a good one. Good little blow up. Oh, I took it that time, but didn't get the hooks. These treble hooks, these hooks are just too small. Got one. Hopefully he stays on. It's another, oh, he snagged on the branch here. Sunfish again. There we go. Oh, this is the biggest one so far. It's another one of these longer ones. Yeah, maybe not the biggest one so far, but it's up there. Someone just took it. There we go. Had to let him take it again. It's another little sunfish. There's another one. <laughs> See, I'm just running, I'm cranking it real, I'm not even really cranking it, I'm just doing a real slow retrieve. So it kind of swims across the surface. And they're just blowing up on it. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, he let go. They're just taking it right away. There's one. <laughs> oh, look, that's a bass. Wow. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Mm. See if I can get this one off without hurting him. This is going to be one of my future two pounders out here. I should submit him to a tournament just as a joke. This is. I hope I get another bass bigger than this. But look at that. <laughs> ah, he slipped out, but he's gone. Got another one that time. This is something bigger. What do we got here? It's another sunfish, but look at that. He choked it. Tried to eat the whole thing. Got both both trebles stuck in his mouth. That was a good blow up. I don't know if you can see that. See, I'm doing it real painfully slow. And that's when I'm getting the bites. I'm not getting bites any other time other than when I'm going real slow. There we go. I don't know what was going on there. It was, I had something else. Oh, I got a lot of, look at this one's foul hooked. That's why he was fighting so hard, but he was dragging something else. I thought I had another line hanging out off of him. There's one. Actually, it doesn't, doesn't even have to be going real slow. It could be staying still. You just kind of wiggle it a little and they'll just go after it. And what I did on that one is I just threw it out there and just let it sit there and kind of just wiggled it a little bit enough where it wouldn't even, it wasn't moving towards me, but it, it was just kind of giving some vibration to the, the lure, putting some ripples around it. Basically what doing it real, real slow does. There we go. See? Look at that one. That one got hooked upside down on the belly. A minute ago, I, oh, there was, oh, that was a blow up. That, I don't know what that was. I was just scratching my hand. I was going to explain how a fish I caught a little while ago, I was scratching my hand and the wiggle caused from scratching my hand made a fish blow up on it. And while I was doing that and doing the demonstration, something blew up on it. I got a mosquito bite right here, so I'm okay with just scratching it for no reason. 
see. See how the end of the rod wiggles when I scratch it? It just got another hit from doing that. There we go. I think I just found a new technique. I don't know what I'm gonna call that. Scratch and sniff. Okay, I got one there. It's running pretty good, but it's another sunfish. <clears throat> There we go. Oh, trying to get up under the roots, let them swim away. Oh, 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 that's a bass. Finally, a second bass. I mean, it's nothing special, but this is like five times bigger than the first one I caught. Whoa. I had one bite and I tried to set the hook and it came flying over here. I need to quit trying to set the hook on this. It's just an old habit to try to set the hook, but these hooks are too small to set like that. You gotta let the fish hook itself. Ah, there's one. See? Just gotta let the fish hook itself. It's another sunfish. another one just gotta bring it real real slow look at this this is the smallest one I've seen this is tiny <laughs> this is little, it's actually a little bitty fat one it's probably pregnant but smaller than the smallest one so far all right so uh, there you have it it's only about an inch and a half long so fish that eats eat bugs that are about an inch and a half long that's what's going to go after them uh, I was I've been out here for about two hours I probably caught 25 fish uh, I don't think I recorded them all I only took pictures of two the two little bass I caught uh, most of what you're going to catch on something like this is going to be small usually sunfish but I have caught uh, two pounders one like 17 inch bass on little quick hoppers like this and they usually especially this time of year in the springtime they usually blow up on it as soon as it hits the water and then I just bring it real slow sometimes they want it fast but today they wanted it really slow like almost where it wasn't moving and I, like I said I must have caught 25 of them so I'm if you're interested in what this is I'll put a link down in the description so you can get more information and uh, well thanks for watching